Ah, you are returned. And none the worse for wear, I see. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Yamoran soldiers, more importantly? They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. The children of the Everlasting Dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. The sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need know pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. And now I see that I was right. You are the bringers of shadow. The warriors of darkness. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. I suppose you're not entirely wrong. But we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say, but please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. I'm sorry, Runar, but there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts, as we will hold you in ours, now and ever after. By the boundless dark, this I swear.
So there's a light sealed inside you, is there? You wouldn't know it from the outside. You look the same as you ever did to me. I'm damned if I know. It's not as if I can lift a finger to help myself, much less you. Have faith in your friends, look out for them, and hope that they look out for you. What more can you do? Think he was telling the truth? Emmett, I mean. All that rot about Heidlin being no different from any other primal. If so, what would that make her blessing? Are we just slaves to her will? Ah, let's pay him no mind. Lies the Asian stock in trade. Villains, heroes, all a matter of perspective, they'd have you believe. One man's fond memory, another's waking nightmare. Me, I'm no saint or savior. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, it felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. The quiet after the storm. I always took comfort in that. What did the scouts have to report? Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. A stalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to hold the line for so long. <laughs> but then they did have Ishgardian reinforcements. Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Tis but the calm before the storm. And should the Empire choose to bring their full might to bear? To say nothing of Black Rose. All the more reason to hasten our search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough, though I have received some troubling intelligence. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. Odd. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. Were I a betting man, I would say here, in the capital. Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning. But a corpse might, given the right encouragement. In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host. So the question becomes, who? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done. These bloodless games make for poor sport. 
May happy father... No. I am a stranger to him in this body. Besides, there is but one hand that can make me whole again. My enemy. My friend. I know not what entertainment occupies you, but if you will not clear the way for me, then I shall seize the reins of fate once more.